Well, the St Andrews Awards are designed to recognise acts of outstanding bravery. Ordinary people going about their everyday business who, because of the circumstances they encounter, end up doing extraordinary things and very often save lives in the process. So it's a, a very special way of recognising that bravery and, and courage. And we've got some very worthy winners this year. I was in Pennycook one evening and a woman came across the street um, distressed, uh, ran into a pub and uh, I followed her in and it turned out that uh, her house was on fire um, and a wee boy was stuck in a bedroom. So the first attempt, um, I got beaten back by the smoke, uh, so I put a jacket over my head and, and went back up again. And uh, I could hear him in the, in the room, uh, although it was thick with smoke and whatnot. And uh, so I just felt my way in and uh, was able to get hold of the wee chap and, and bring him out. And that's why I'm here today, uh, to receive an award. The accident happened beside my restaurant and I saved someone, you know, from burning. So when I see the flame, I took, uh, when I see, I went outside and I said, well, it's very bad flame. There's no point going there without water or without thing. And suddenly click in my mind, I got to fire extinguisher in the bar and the restaurant. And I grabbed one of the bar, uh, uh, fire extinguisher from the restaurant then managed to pull him out and next to neighbour, he's helping as well at that, at that time. Uh, I was going away to the line dancing about quarter past six at night on the 5th of December, so it was really dark and um, we got down about 10 minutes into the journey and then the bus driver stopped and he got off and closed his door and the outside door and the minute he closed that, the bus seemed to just start taking off again. The bus driver was running up the side but he couldn't get on because we were going too quick. So I just says to the man that was beside me, I said, you better sit down because we're going to have to, you know, just keep going. And um, I, just, I just kept going for a little while and I says, I'm going to have to stop this. So that's what I did. There was railings up the side and I smashed the bus into that. Uh, I won the award for rescuing a fisherman that had fell off the rocks and had been swept into a cave. And his friend was on the rocks and he kind of said where he had been washed because it was quite a poor day on the sea and he had washed away into a cave. So we had to get away right away in there and we couldn't even see him when we got in on the boat. It was when I got into the water, that's the only time I could see him. It's not only me that should really receive the award, it's the whole crew that done the job. I only went in and pulled the guy out, but if it hadn't been for the other guys on the boat, then the, the rescue wouldn't have been possible. So. Well, the winners are, I think, thrilled. You know, the, the reaction of winners of awards like this is often a very human reaction. They feel they haven't done anything particularly out of the ordinary. They see it as just being in the right place at the right time or the wrong place at the wrong time, whatever you, way you want to look at it. Um, and, you know, without exception, all of them say something like, anybody would have done what I did. But I don't know that that's true. You know, we never know how we'll react in these circumstances, but these people have all demonstrated that they reacted with extraordinary courage and bravery, and I'm delighted that we're able to recognise that through these awards.